Hi everyone, it's Jay from MyMasterful.com. I've been getting many questions on what screen protector I use. Here is my phone, my iPhone, here is my screen protector. And majority of you guys know about um, screen protectors, know that this of course is a mirror screen protector. I personally like it, you don't have to, um, that's just pretty much preference. I've used different screen protectors, I've tried them all, I've tried anti-fingerprint, anti-glare, glossy, um, crystal, anti-fingerprint, and anti-glare are pretty much the same thing. Um, crystal and glossy are the same thing. And I've also tried the privacy protector, and I always revert back to having a mirror screen protector, and part of that is because I am a girl. And of course, I always carried a mirror in my purse whether it may be to check to see if there's food in between my teeth after I eat, you know, or anything when you're putting lip gloss or makeup on or anything like that or just, you know, whenever somebody needs a mirror around. Um, I always carried a mirror in my purse and this actually replaced that so I don't carry my big bulky mirror or my small tiny little mirror. I just bust out my phone and I just look and see my reflection in this. A lot of people also ask me does it actually look like a mirror. Um, it's pretty clear like you can see your reflection pretty damn good. Another question is is it hard to see through the screen protector when you're looking at your display? Yes and no. Um, of course you're gonna always have that glare especially when you're in the sunlight you have to bump up your brightness all the way up or you're not going to be able to see your home screen um, because of course the sun is shining through it and then light bounces off of it so you won't be able to see it unless you bump up your brightness all the way up. I actually have mine halfway. I still can see my screen um, through sunlight when it's still halfway through. Most people don't like it, but I do. Of course, you're going to have a lot of fingerprints um, when using a mirror screen protector. It's going to collect a lot of fingerprints. So whenever I'm like on the phone, texting, whatever, and I'm like, oh, I wonder if there's anything in my teeth or whatever, just shut it off and look at yourself. Um, what screen protector I use or what brand of screen protector, mirror screen protector do I use? I actually don't have a preference. I've tried the Par Support. I like the Par Support. I just like Par Support's brand. I've also always revert back to inexpensive brands from eBay sellers. I always buy bulks because I change my mirror screen protector pretty much every month. So. It's that time of the month to change my mirror screen protector because I've had this on since December and it is actually pretty beaten up on the sides. You can't really see it, but the sides are pretty beaten up like the down in the corner here and like I showed you on the top right here. The edges are just really bad. So I'm actually going to change it. Another mirror screen protector that I've never used, it's another two tab inexpensive screen protector. But my concern with this one is this is actually pretty thick. I mean, you know most screen protectors is pretty flexible. And this is like a Steinhall or SGP. You can bend it very easily with no problems. Here is another mirror screen protector that is pretty, that's pretty thin and you can bend it very easily. It's very flexible. But this one you can't really bend it as much you know it goes like that and like that it's pretty damn thick so my concern is if I use this will I still be able to use a slider and I know of course I will yes of course but I just have to make sure that it's centered right dead center so that it doesn't affect how my slider goes on. So I'm just going to install this very fast and show you guys how I install a screen protector. So hang on tight. So here is my phone and I'm going to just take tab number one right here and I'm going to peel back tab one and 
install this on my phone. I always like to go from the bottom and work my way up because I actually like to align my home button first. My home button and my earpiece or whatever you want to call it is lined up really well. And now of course I'm just going to test it to make sure if it is centered. Um, I'm just going to slide a glider in, a case crown glider before I remove this off to make sure that it's centered really nicely and doesn't seem like it's bubbling up my screen protector at all. So that's really good. So that's a glider and here is my in-case slider. Going to make sure that this doesn't bubble up my screen protector. I made sure that it's very centered. Doesn't seem like it's bubbling up my screen protector either. So that's great. Just take this, peel it off. There you go. Here's my new screen protector. Just installed it. It looks very nice and very sharp. So the thickness of the screen protector is actually thicker than my old one. Um, and if I show you on the side, that is actually pretty darn thick. Here's the thickness of the screen protector on the one I just installed and the thickness of the old one. Now I know you can't really see, but there is a difference in thickness. Um, I can't really show you guys, but the one installed on my phone is actually thicker than the one I just took off. And too bad you guys can't see it because I really wanted to show you guys how thinner the old one is and how flimsier the old one is. So here is my new mirror screen protector. Oh, there you go. Now you see the fingerprints all over. All over. La la la. Let's see if I can scratch it up right now. Okay, yeah, it's not scratching up. But there you go. That's my installation. Sorry I couldn't really get it all on camera. I had to like really make sure that my home button is centered and the top here is centered so that it can slide easily into a glider case without it um, not scratching up but bubbling up my screen protector. So thank you for watching you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!